Mercedes E220D Estate 4 MATIC 2017 Review the addition of four-wheel drive doesn't really change much to the Mercedes E-Class Estates formula, but it's still a refined choice. Verdict 4 Star The E220D4 MATIC is a strong choice for those after a comfortable and impeccably finished large estate with all-wheel drive. It might not be top of the class in terms of the driving experience, but the Mercedes remains hugely practical and very refined. We're not convinced the advantages of all-wheel drive are as obvious here as they are in comparable subs, however, so the cheaper, more economical, and almost as capable rear-wheel drive E-Class estate is the better bet. A decade ago, British buyers who demanded that their executive estate have power sent to all four wheels were mostly forced into Audi's Quattro camp. Nowadays, though, there are plenty of brands offering all-wheel drive estates, not least Audi's closest challengers BMW and Mercedes. Here, we're driving the latest effort from the latter, the 2017 E-Class Estate in popular 220D form with 4 MATIC all-wheel drive, to work out if it is worth bothering with. Despite a relatively mild winter weather in the UK, a steadily increasing number of people are choosing all-wheel drive as an option on new cars. You can blame the rise of the crossover for that but it's also thanks to modern part-time odd systems that are almost as cheap to run as the same model with two driven wheels. That last point means that this E220D4 MATIC which can still send torque to any driven wheel that loses traction, manages a claimed 54.3 mpg on the combined cycle and emits 137g slash km of CO2. While those figures are better than any similarly sized diesel SUV, there is still a slight penalty over the standard E220D, which officially manages 61.4 mpg and emits 129g slash km. As such, the 4 MATIC is unlikely to be a company car favorite, with a 3 percent or higher benefit Indiana kind, big, rate than the two-wheel drive car. More disappointing was the fact that we only just managed to break 4.0 mpg over a week with the 4 MATIC in a mix of largely gentle motorway and town driving. The benefits on the road may just outweigh the economy sacrifice for some, however. Grip levels are very impressive, with the heavy E-Class firing off the line with only a hesitation from the 9-speed automatic gearbox to hinder its progress. It feels planted in the bends, too with any instability or movement under power found in the standard E all but eradicated, though in normal driving you would be hard pushed to notice any difference. If you want to tackle rough terrain, this isn't the right odd E class to buy there's the forthcoming all-terrain model for that. The introduction of the 4 MATIC running gear seems to have no effect on the Merck's fluid and composed ride quality, on our air sprung test car at least. Performance is very similar with only 0.1s lost on the 0 to 62 miles per hour time when compared with the rear wheel drive model. It's far from fast by the standards of the modern executive segment, but the refined E220D offers a reasonable turn of pace that is fine for most buyers needs. While it's disappointing that the adoption of 4 MATIC doesn't boost the E-Class estate's towing capacity of 2.1 tons, that's still better than an Strive equipped BMW 520D and an Audi A6 Avant 2.0 TDI Quattro when it comes to pulling a trailer. With no visual clues on the interior that this is an all-wheel drive car and only a 4MATIC badge on the bootlet, the only other drawback is the price, at £42,710 it's £1,540 more expensive than the two-wheel drive E220D. A good PCP deal will help mask that, but we reckon that money's better spent elsewhere in Merck's extensive options list. Key Specs Model, Mercedes E220D Estate 4 MATIC AMG Line Price, £42,710 Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL turbo diesel Power, 191 bhp Torque, 400 nm. Transmission, 
9 speed automatic, all wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 7.8 seconds. Top speed, 145 miles per hour. Economy, 54.3 mpg. CO2, 137 g slash km. On sale, now.